What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be doing my first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial of the season. Valentine's Day is right around the corner so whether you're celebrating classic Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, or even an anti-Valentine's Day, it's still an excuse to get glam so it's an A plus in my book. For my first tutorial I wanted to keep it really classic, feminine, girly, and kind of use pink tones because that's what I personally think of when I think of Valentine's Day. So obviously that's what I did with this look and that's what today's tutorial is going to be on but I can definitely do more tutorials if you guys want to see that. So let me know down below what you want to see in a future Valentine's Day video and I can definitely do another one if that's something you guys are interested in. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty so for today we are going to switch it up and we are going to do the eyes first. Normally I do my face first, eyes after but for today I'm going to do the eyes first. I have already primed them with concealer and I did my brows already because you guys have seen me do it a billion times. For today's look I'm going to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. I feel like when I look at this palette it just reminds me of Valentine's Day like the color scheme. So this is like the first palette that came to mind when I thought of my Valentine's Day look So this is what I'm gonna be using today and I'm gonna start with burnt orange But I'm actually gonna put some tape on my eyes today so we can get a nice crisp line So I just have like regular scotch tape I'm gonna make sure that it's not super sticky So I just like put it on my skin a couple times and rip it off So it's not gonna like rip the skin on our face I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on our eyes so we can kind of have a guideline all right, so I'm first gonna work burnt orange into my crease as a neutral transition. I'm gonna do sort of like a cut crease kind of look, but we gotta get down these neutral transition colors first. This color is so pigmented. <laughs> I forgot how pigmented these shadows are. I've kind of been trying this new technique where even with my neutral transition colors, I'm keeping most of the shade on the outer part of my eye and then just kind of feathering it in. And I've been liking doing that, but it's kind of new for me, but it's kind of just like changing the eye shape a little bit. My eyelids are kind of weird and my crease is kind of weird. So sometimes my eye looks can look weird because of that. <laughs> Everybody's got to work with the eyelids that God gave them. Then I'm going to go in with this burnt orange color. This is called Real Gar. And going to work this in to start to deepen up that crease. Still not cutting the crease. I want to use like a pinky shade to cut the crease, but I'm just going to work this color up a bit to start to deepen it. You don't have to make this like super precise or anything because we're gonna go back in and we're gonna clean up the lid after. Um, so if it looks a little messy, don't worry. We're gonna fix it. Also you guys comment down below what your plans are this Valentine's Day, I would love to hear. I know Valentine's Day is in the middle of the week this year so I'm not quite sure what me and Steven are gonna do. We'll probably celebrate on the weekend because he has work. Um, on actual Valentine's Day, but I would love to hear what you guys are doing. So comment down below. Then I'm gonna go in with a love letter to cut the crease. I love this pink shade, it's so pretty. So again, this really doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna clean it up, but the best way for me personally to do a cut crease with the way my eyes are is I put the brush in like my crease and then I keep my eyes open and blend it back and forth and this will get like my real crease. It kind of looks weird, I know, but this is like the best way for me to do it because I have like a weird crease. And so if you can see now I kind of have that line set and now I can go with my eyes closed and actually like blend. But that helps to like set the line. So we're gonna just deepen that up and blend this in there. And to do this I'm actually using the brush that came with the Modern Renaissance palette. It's like really good to get into that area. It's like shaped really well. All right, now that I have the color down, I wanna go in and clean it up. So I'm actually gonna use a shadow stick to do this. The one that I'm gonna be using is from NARS, but you can honestly use any shadow stick. This is the Velvet Shadow Stick in the shade Galice. And I'm actually gonna put it on a flat shader brush so that I can be more precise, although you could just use it like this. And I'm gonna go in and clean up that crease area and put this all over the lid as well. You just want to try and get a really nice and sharp line when doing this. And now that we've cleaned everything up, I'm going to go all over the lid and set that with Primavera. And we are just going to set the lid with this. This has a slight golden undertone to it, so it's going to add a little bit of gold to the lid. Which I think looks really nice with like the cranberries and the pinks. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to go back with this shade and do my inner corner once my concealer and everything is done, but we're going to do that later. Right now, just highlighting the brow bone. And I'm just gonna take the tape off and you can see how precise and sharp of a line it leaves. Sometimes it's like a little too sharp, so I kinda just like go like this at the top. <laughs> just to kinda smudge it out a little bit so it doesn't look so precise. Then I'm gonna go and do some winged liner. I'm just gonna use the Schwing Liquid Liner from the Bomb. I just feel like winged liner is so flirty and cute for Valentine's Day, so. And that's why I wanted to do it. 
Liner is done, so I'm gonna go in with lashes. Doesn't this box just scream Valentine's Day? I love how it's a heart. These are from Lena Lashes, and they're in the shade Naomi. I love them. They're like so fluttery and romantic. Just gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy on. I let my lash glue dry, and we're gonna do the rest of our face, and we'll go back to the eyes at the end. So, time for primer. I'm gonna use this new one. This caught my eye. This is the Stila One Step Illuminate Primer. It looks like really cool. So we're gonna use this today. It looks like DNA or something, I think, if I remember correctly from science class. I'm just gonna pump some out. Ooh, it's really pretty. I guess they all kind of fuse together. And apply to my face. Ooh, it's like a kind of like a glotion or something that makes your skin glow. Really pretty, it kind of brightens it up. Like it adds a little pink tone to the skin though, I will say that. So like if you already have a lot of redness in your skin, you'll probably hate this. Um, and it does kind of end up blending into the skin, but at first I was like, whoa. <laughs> For my foundation, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I'm just going to apply with my finger. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that. And you know what, while I'm thinking of it right now, just because we're talking about like Valentine's Day and love and all that stuff, I get so many questions on my videos, and I have addressed this before, um, but I get so many questions on my videos about, oh my God, is she still engaged? She never wears her engagement ring, and I don't wear my engagement ring when I do my makeup, like on a daily basis every day, when I'm doing my makeup because I wanna keep it clean, and I'm always, you know, just like I just did, putting foundations on my fingers and, you know, getting makeup all over my hands, so I like to keep it clean and I don't wear it. When I do my makeup, I put it on after, like when I'm getting dressed for the day and stuff. So I feel like it would be fake if I sat down and filmed a YouTube video where I was doing my makeup and I went to put it on just because I was like filming, you know what I mean? So yes, I'm still engaged. I just don't wear my ring when I do my makeup and most of my videos I'm doing my makeup so I don't wear it just so I can try and keep it clean. I do really need to clean it though because I've never actually like cleaned it since I've gotten it. Oh, I know. And I do obviously try and keep it clean but I really honestly should clean it. So if anyone has any suggestions as to like something to use to clean an engagement ring, uh, let me know down below because I should probably uh, do that. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Tarte Shape Tape. We're just gonna conceal out those under eyes. You guys, by the way, I want a dog so bad, oh my gosh. You guys know I have Penelope, obviously, um, like if you follow me on Snap or whatever, but she is like my family's dog, so she lives with my parents, she doesn't live with me. And when I moved out, I tried to convince my mom so hard to let her come with me, but that was just a hard no, because my mom loves her so much. Um, so yeah, she doesn't live with me, and I only get to see her like maybe once or twice a week whenever I'm home at my parents' house, and I just miss having a dog so much, and I really, really want to get one. But it's also a lot of responsibility, so I've been back and forth, Steven and I both. We both love dogs, but you know, we travel a lot, and it is a lot of responsibility, so really trying to you know, weigh the pros and cons, but I want one so bad. And blend that out. I just feel like they're such good companions and like I'm home all day, ugh, I need one. <laughs> That's also another question I get sometimes is like when I talk about Penelope, I guess because it is like a human name, people are like, oh my God, does she have a daughter? <laughs> no, well technically yes, I do have a daughter. She's just a dog daughter, you know? For my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Betty Luminizer from The Bomb. This used to be like my fave bronzer ever, and I haven't used it in a long time, and I don't know why. So this is what I'm gonna go in with today to bronze up my skin. And normally I use my bronzer as my blush, but I think today, since it's Valentine's Day, you know, you gotta use a blush, so I am gonna go in with a separate blush too. Before blush, I'm gonna contour with Benefits Hula. Gotta sculpt out those cheekbones. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with this one from Ofra. This is in the shade Punch. Pop that onto the cheeks just a little bit because I don't normally wear blush. I'm just dotting it on there. And I do have a coupon code with Ofra. It's Kelly30. If you guys are interested, don't feel like you have to use it. And then for my highlight, I'm gonna use this new one from Milani. This is the Stellar Lights Highlight Palette in Rose Glow. Oh my God. I just used the center one the other day and was like shook, you guys. This is such a beautiful highlight, let me just show you. Like how stunning I die. Especially like drugstore highlight, that is really, really nice. I love this. See, look, as you like build it up, it's like beaming, which I love. Bring it down my nose, above my cupid's bow. This might be like my new favorite highlight, like literally. I almost forgot that we have to finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with Venetian Red on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna smoke that out down there. 
And then I'm going in with Vermeer, that same highlight that I used on my brow bone to highlight that inner corner. Like so, just to really make the eyes pop. Then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the Gigi Maybelline liner. This is the tan one, or like champagne one. And I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Then I'm just gonna go in and put some mascara on my lower lash line. I'm using the Estee Edit, the IGS Up and Out mascara, which you guys know I love. This is not available anymore though, I don't think. Um, so just use any mascara. And then last but not least, we're gonna do our lips and I'm gonna go ahead and line them with Stila Pink Moscato. You guys know this is my fave. Then I'm gonna go in with the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Sonata all over my lips. I want the lips to be a little bit more pink so I'm gonna go over it with this. This is the Milani Stellar Lights Holographic Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Prismatic Pink. These look so, so pretty so I'm really excited. Ooh-hoo, yes! Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted for the lips. So pretty. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel right down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!